Hello everybody and welcome to Scraps on Sunday. It's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so, so much for joining me again. Hope you're all well. I am, thank you. So, um, I think I said to you yesterday, I haven't been in this uh, Scraps box um, much recently. So, not only is it fairly full, I mean, I've used a bit out of it for backing and things like that, but no projects. But I also have, <laughs> you'll probably recognise some of these, I also have these waiting to um, go in it. So yeah, um, and I have no idea, I haven't got a particular project in mind. Let me move it this way because it might be, oh sorry, it might be shining on you a little bit. I'll just grab some pages out. So what I would actually like to do is um, grab some things out, see what I've got and see, you know, what I can get out of, of it. So whether it be making uh, tags and pockets, but I'm not going to make one without the other. If you remember, I'm not, I'm not doing that anymore. If I make a pocket, it's got to have a tag made um, to fit in it. Um, so a little bit of sorting and, you know, the, I think there's an envelope in here, if I remember rightly. I shouldn't have put all this lot in, should I? Because I know what's in here. <laughs> it's from the last, uh, the last make. So let's just leave that on a pile there because I've got a rough idea what that is. Um, so some biggish, some biggish pieces and quite colourful pieces. Yeah, colourful. Yeah, I've still got these a few squares of um, six by six, I think. That's a piece that's been painted. So we'll just have colourful, colourful pieces in one place, and uh, yeah, the more the more sort of backing pages are now. That is a lovely piece of coffee dyed and stained um, cardstock. So we'll make something out of that. Let's just put that there for now. Um, I've just found the envelope. I don't know, maybe you'd like to see me digging in it perhaps. Yeah, I don't know how that got in there, but I did notice last time I was in there. It's stuck in there a little bit. Yeah, so we could... Uh, what could we do with it? We could make it into a pocket or we could just decorate it as an, as an envelope for a journal. Let's put that in the pile. So there's a couple of things we can make. Let's, yeah, strips here. Oh gosh. <laughs> So when I've been using gold, I've got some little circles there, look. I often wipe it on um, bits of scrap that are in my scrap box. And then lots of small squares. Now these these will be good for, um, oh, ephemera, um, embellishments, I mean. So these are the sort of bits that I use for, um, yes, what did I used to do on a Monday? Collaging, masterboards, that kind of thing. Oops, so I've got lots of spring-like pieces of paper there from one of my kits um, which probably we should be using this, the summer and the spring ones up so I'm just going to put to my left all the little bits that are you know sort of collage pieces and not much else a piece of vellum there oh another part of an envelope right so I think we've got not to go too much further we've got quite a bit of the uh, bases here to be working on haven't we there are other pieces but um, just seeing something that really grabs me really grabs me attention there's lots of um, music paper I might just grab some of that out right let's get rid of the, the box and the tiny bits for now because I think we've got more than enough there to be working on so this is your second video today as well uh, <clears throat> so it shouldn't be an hour's video. <laughs> we'll see how how I get on. Okay, so I've got some smaller strips there. These are more um, sort of backing papers or, uh, you know, writing on journaling spots. But all these, I doubt that I won't. I'm not expecting to get all this used up. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking that's just going to make a perfect double journal card really, isn't it? Start with something nice and simple. Um, so it is just about, oh, the sun had gone away, I've opened the curtains and it's just come out again. It is evening, um, it's not even early evening, we're into the evening, so <laughs> it is summer. But, uh, and it's been red hot today and very sunny, hence my, uh, my curtains were drawn. As you know, we get the sun in this craft room at the front of the house. And we're in the, having a mini mini heat wave for us, even though it is summer. I'll just take some of that green down a bit, it's still a little bit bright. Um, 
not too much but but it's not bright everywhere that's it it's, it's very crinkly <laughs> um so shall we just make it journey now shall we put shall we put some little pockets on the inside of it let's move those two things over there right what have we got right color scheme it would be nice to use some of these greeny spring like let's grab a few in that's green isn't it and then yeah these okay so we've got a pile of greens going on so what have we got that would make some nice uh, pockets in here i might have to back whatever decide to use for the pockets so they're not very strong and that's, that's going to make quite a nice mat on the front isn't it seem to have two pieces the same i wondered if my printer was doing something odd yeah that one's got the full rabbit that one's losing his his bottom a little bit but it has got white uh, white edges on it so here's a possibility for the front maybe we'll have a look what else we've got um i see a butterfly just get this white off here and then oh well maybe not <laughs> maybe should have just cut it with the scissors shouldn't i i do still like tearing it's still my favorite thing so i'm going to wink it up anyway oh yeah look i've taken a chunk not that it matters isn't it a bit of interest hasn't it i just want to look at this butterfly piece this one oh we've got a toadstool on the back so this is from a journal kit i recognize it yeah shall we have that right let me get my proper tear ruler because that one is not working for me that will be nice on the all of the front of this won't it and i don't mind some of it torn and some of it uh, what am i doing i don't know <laughs> and some of it you know cut straight no that's not what i'm doing that's it <laughs> i've got the proper edge now i just like the bigger piece under my ruler it seems to work better I hope I've got the right edge now. I hope I haven't cut the, I have. <laughs> oh, piece for the bin, hooray, which is right behind me. Um, yeah, so we'll map that on the front, but what we were looking for was something for the insides. Now I could use something that's already here. Or oh, what about music paper? Yeah, I'll put that to one side. We're happy with that for there. Um, let's have a look at this music paper that I grabbed out, see if anything anything here is calling to me there's a lot of quite white which I don't want that's quite a nice piece hmm. um, again I'm going to tear and I'm going to tear it down the middle because I don't want it Oh dear me, well I'm going to tear it but it might not be down the middle. Well, I was going to say I don't want it attached. It isn't attached now. Um, so I was going to do corner pockets. That's the that same piece. I don't know what that is. Oh it's not, it's slightly different. Does it, does it need to be the same I guess? company I don't suppose it does let's see if I can do a better job this time then <laughs> I feel like I'm this way a lot where shall we go what size have we got there well we definitely want some of that white off don't we I'll settle in a minute <laughs> yep so if we do this one the same size <coughs> well bits are ended up in the bin if nothing else yeah, it is slightly different coloured paper but that's not bothering me too much yeah so they'll make nice pockets now um i do want to back them so 
got some paper that I'm not all that bothered about in here. <laughs> she says. All right, it's a book page. It's not very thick though, so it's not going to make a lot of difference. Um, what's that? Something I've been painting on. And sometimes I like to use the painted pages, but it was a big piece and I've used some more of it. So let's just glue these onto here. Right, finally we're gluing. <laughs> So guys, what have you been up to all week? How's life treating you? Which way up do you go that way? Oh, that's quite... Oh yes, I like that side better. I don't know why I felt I needed to ink it. I just, I just did. <laughs> so if it's Sunday afternoon, which it should be when you're watching this, I will be, hopefully, if all goes to plan, um, going around the local car boot. So that'd be nice. We're still looking for another chair, although we haven't been looking hard, I have to say. <laughs> um, but yeah, now the kitchen floor is down. I want just the right one, so that you know we're seeing lots of. We have, there are lots of chairs out there, but I've got three, you know, and I want a different one again. I want it to be different, and I want you know sort of country kitchen look. So yeah, I tore that didn't I? And it wasn't. Now I need to do it again. <laughs> So yeah, we'll be looking for a chair, but um, which way up? Well, there's only one way for you. Yeah, obviously I'll be looking for at books and lace and oh, who knows? Who knows what the car boot throws up? Now it's, it's uh, like I say, it's very hot here and it's the sort of thing people do on a Sunday in England when it's very hot. So it will be busy, I would think. and. Uh, hectic and noisy so it'll be lovely to go and see all the the bargains it will be lovely to get home again where it's cooler and <laughs> um, more peaceful we're going to see mum as well so yeah I'm probably out and about I'm going to put that in the bin are you impressed because I am I'll screw it up as well uh, yeah we'll probably be out and about so I do want to cut round that but I need them to dry a little bit first so let's decide um, if we're going to put some plain on the back. I think we probably will if I've got some. And I do want it to match so the only piece I would have is this. Although I've got some book page. It only needs to be above the pocket doesn't it? Yeah so that would be more than enough. So I could have those two fancy pieces across the top. There, couldn't I? So we just do a fold. I suppose I'll link that and then I can see what I'm doing. In theory. <laughs> Yeah, so I know um, you guys in uh, Australia and uh, America, Australia, I don't know what made me say Australia, I'm not sure about Australia, um, Canada and America, it might be the case in Australia too, you guys don't have the car boots but you have what you call yard sales, well, that'll be because you have such big, big, big properties compared to us in the UK, we are very small, some people do have large properties and some people do have yard sales but um, on the whole there's not a lot of room for anything like that. I just want the tiniest amount, would you believe, off that edge. Is it going to work? So yeah, if you're not sure what a car boot is, it's literally a big field um, and people pay a reasonably small amount, um, you know, to go on with their cars and sell, you know, second-hand things out of their cars. So similar to a yard sale. Um, yeah, I'll just put the whole thing down and then, yeah, I think I will. Oh, on my glue. Yeah, so it, it wasn't that long ago when I couldn't even imagine going to one for the pain in my knee from walking. So, yeah, is there anybody about to go and have their uh, a new knee? Or has just had one and is going through the pain of it. No, top. 
let me tell you it's well worth it pain wise absolutely worth it when it uh, it all comes to fruition so i know i've had a few other illnesses along the way but as regards my knee it's doing pretty well it still swells up and i'm still i still can't bend it as much as i should and things like that i probably should be working on that more but it, you know even today i uh, i walked outside the back door and in again three or four times doing little things to the dustbin and what have you and i just thought to myself that would have been so so painful four or five months ago just doing that i would have been in agony so yeah i just remind myself every day <laughs> how wonderful life is with no knee pain if i could just get rid of the back pain and i'm going to <laughs> I'll be jumping for joy. Right, it's still quite wet, that. Just take a bit of dry in that. Oh, I don't like that sunshine on my... It's on my trolley and all my glue's on it. Can I get it out of the sun? No. Might have to move it all round to my other side. Just bear with me a moment. I could have left the... Um, <laughs> new driver, new trolley driver. I could have left the curtains closed, but I thought, seeing as the sun had gone, I'm nearly there. <laughs> seeing as the sun had gone, hey, we'll have some daylight. And of course, as soon as I sat down with the camera on, out it came. Okay, let's stick this one down then. I now I have things on my left, which is a bit bizarre. That's got a white strip across there, but I'm not too bothered because the ink will... Oops, that wasn't very good. I've got plenty to play with, so I'll go in a bit, a bit deeper. That's it. Get rid of the rubbish. Yeah, I'm thinking I might have to make some pockets and tags. Depends how long this takes me, but I'm not getting rid through very much, am I? <laughs> I do. I know the whole point is to make things from nothing, so making stuff from your scraps, but for me the point is getting the scraps down as well. And when you just make an odd thing like this, it uh, doesn't necessarily, you know, have much effect on the, the size of the pile. So, uh, yeah, I might have to make a couple of quick, quick pockets and tags to help with that. Ooh. Oh, I know what, I haven't got an awful lot of page edge strips actually. I've got a few, I haven't really got many summery ones, so that might be, might make a few of those. That would be using some of these pieces up, wouldn't it? And they, they come together fairly quickly. I don't know if it's wrinkly because it's wet or wrinkly because it's coffee dyed. Yeah, it's quite damp now. Right, let's see if I can get this one uh, back to its size. I should have, I knew I was going to back it. I should have done that first, shouldn't I? Instead of cut it and then back it, but never mind. We're getting there. It's it's plain ball. Don't want to say that too loud because, yeah, <laughs> I knew it. I would uh, jinx it. No, I think we're okay. Now, if I've got anything lying around on my desk, I will put some embellishments on these pockets. If I haven't, I won't. I'm not going to go grab stuff out now. Let me just corral all this music tape because it's doing a bit of a a bit of a crazy dance on my desk. <laughs> There's a little bit of text there as well. Okay, put you over there, that's better. I can see what I'm up to now. I will save that little bit for now. Um, so they're going to go on there as pockets. Yeah, one of them is a lot more... Is that the right way up it is, isn't it? Um, 
where's the one that was going on the front it's wet anyway so we might as well just was that it no there was a mushroom wasn't there mushroom yeah that's better let's have that on then might as well all be drying it together i think it's inked inked enough anyway so i'm just scanning the desk as i do this to see if i've got anything i've got some of those um discs that i colored in that i had out for my last uh, project that you have just seen the end of this morning you haven't seen the flip through yet but the um ring bound journal that sounds like someone on a bike or a scooter <laughs> coming past you know a child I mean <laughs> or children by sounds of it it's quite late to be out but it is the weekend so uh, do we want it's not really big enough for the back is it I'm just wondering about something plain on the back yeah just mat it See if there's anything smaller that wants using up, but it's quite a big piece, isn't it? I want to do it in one go. No, they're all small, quite smallish, and they're not green. So, yep, let's go with this one. It's got a nice botanical kind of vibe, hasn't it? We're all about the greens this, I was going to say, this week. Is Sunday the start of a new week for you, or is Monday? me it's Monday but I know some people just wants a tiny bit off there some people see Sunday as the start of the week another bit hits the bin right let's have it right way up you like that still quite full on even though it's a you know, not a big pattern it's a quite a hectic pattern okay now in the spirit of what i just said these are pockets inside here aren't they so i really must make some tags to go in them just realized that can't leave it a half made piece so we'll have to do that gosh that glue is i've used it a lot today i have been at my desk for hours today it uh, it's very gloopy Oh, how did you go sideways? Are you going to come off? Come on. I don't want a sideways on one. Oh. I didn't cut it sideways, did I? Just my eye when I put it down, I think. That's still a little bit. Still a lot, I think. Let's see. Yeah. I'm not going again. It's... Oh! it's near enough it'll dry really stiff but it's soft at the minute because the glue is soft so shall I put these down all right now they are now smaller than don't like that I'm sticking to this page no, they're now too small I put them down twice how annoying let's get rid of that I've only got one of those anyway so I can't use that Ooh where did that come from off that paper that's the end of me uh, cloth now okay so there will be pockets on something but not this what's this this is an oak oh oh I see okay right let's get the chopper out that means that's got to move and let's see what size we're going for what did i do with that little ruler who knows so we want something four inches and a minimum of well i'd like it two and a half do i say four four wide by two and a half what do I think so if I do it this way I've got it's not going to be four is it not twice 
but it will be that way two and a half um so if i do it three and three i think i might just manage that or well, seven centimeters let's do it seven centimeters oh crikey have i cut it too fine yes all right am i going to get two and a half two and a quarter no two and a half yes i am just why does it look straight whichever edge i put on there looks straight and yet it doesn't look straight to me are we far across we are sorry if i'm driving you crazy aha <laughs> uh -huh, that, one's, that one's not straight right four four and a half was it no four four Right, are you straight now? No. You see, isn't that strange? Are we straight now? Yes. We could even do with a very tiny smidge off because we want the booklet to close, don't we? We've got two of them in that. Oh, just. I like it there. I like that hessy inside. All I've got to do is get the other one the same. Uh, size. So I'm going to round the bottom and leave the top square. Yep. So I'm going to do the same. So we said four, didn't we? So I'll go just a little bit bigger and then I can trim all sides and not end up too small. Oops. Four. Oh, and then I went in a little bit, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Double check here, yeah, just a tiny bit, but... Okay, let's get rid of all those little shavings. Are we the same height? We're not. How did we manage that? I didn't do the two, did I? What did we say? I'll do it that way. Up there. That's better. And round at the bottom. Let's do it where I can see it. Now this piece is taking a lot of making, isn't it? <laughs> um, let's put a divot in them and ink them did we put something on the back yes we did so we just need some tags i mean they don't even have to be decorated as long as i've got something in them that fits with some uh well should have done this first Pen silk so we are we're four out of course we are so two oh <laughs> whoa that went a long way lovely and what should we put it on with shall we Use the art glitter again that still isn't empty yet. <laughs> so this is out of a scrapbooking um, paper pad. So it's like light cardstock. Oh, from nothing to everything then. We're level, yeah. I just spotted another cloth, thank goodness, on the table to the side of me. Right, I want this one the same. Yeah. Yeah, it was one of those cheap um, scrapbooking pads from the works. Perfect, excuse me, hiccup pin for things like this. Just fits, just. You know, over the edge of the paper. 
yeah and they're gonna they're gonna have some crane out some lovely embellishment on aren't they yeah it's very wrinkly because it's wet okay i just need to uh, make sure i've got some tags for them whether they're done or not won't really matter i've got some small pieces of card here actually from the, the last mask make thing i did do you think they're big enough um, i mean i would have liked them bigger but it would be a good use of them wouldn't it i don't think there's anything else here card like oh there's the black a piece of black but no oh, i think i'll leave those in for now I can always put a nice cluster on the top of them couldn't we at least i've got something in that fits okay well one piece <laughs> well one piece and these whatever we choose to do with them um right this envelope make a nice mat on there actually um i'm not cutting it i'm just checking the size of it so the envelope is about three and three quarters so if we do this at three and a half do you think yeah straight it oh oh i'm so so sorry and this is falling down it's got like it just falls down every time i pick it up nodding donkey i hope it's still filming yes it is right i just noticed how long i've been so what did i do with me so we'll map this on the front what are we going to do with it though it will be a pretty envelope but it would go that way actually it would make a nice pocket i'm thinking um um put it down yeah so if i put that on there and cover the flap it could go down as a pocket with a tag behind it and it could also open there let's do that okay you'll see what i mean in a minute if you're not with me already yeah let's do it like a an opening piece not fasten it shut which is my my trick at the moment <laughs> i don't want it across the top because i want it completely open so oops yeah i went to the edge and it's matted it wasn't at the edge silly silly girl And then I want to take a lay it down, um, a divot out. Let's find the middle again because at the minute I'm not. What do I do with that pencil? I'm not very good at. At the minute, I've never been very good at <laughs> finding the centre. So let's do the centre of the envelope, which is uh, we're thirteen centimetres, uh, six and a half. Yes. <laughs> okay oh i did that on the back of the envelope it needs to be on that um and i know i just had my diviter there it is diviter <laughs> are you gonna go in there yes you are i'll do a fairly biggish one i think deep i mean like that a pencil mark now Brand new rubber here. Not even open, look. That's it. Whoops. Oh. Right, it's coming off, it's lightened it anyway. I did I did do it quite deep. <laughs> yeah, and I don't need anything behind it because I do like that coffee coloured um it wants something on the flap here and it might want something under there i don't know but definitely wants something here um, so something that will complement what we've got but not overshadow it i've got lots of very colorful paper here i suppose i could have some of the plain what 
did I have that was plain? More coffee dyed, no. What are these greens? Oh, there's just a green. No, but there is this, look. Some of that would be nice. Just that top green here. So if I fasten that just on there like that and cut round it, fit the right way up, it shouldn't matter. Yep. Blue book. So do you do things like this and put things in your scrap box? Don't know how it ended up in the scrap box because it, you know, it's clearly not scrap, but like I say, I've seen it there twice and not, not removed it and put it where it should be. So, so this is the thing to do. Use it with the scraps. Where's my... <laughs> I'm just uh, absolutely drowning here in scraps. I definitely need to make some of those page edge things that I was talking about. If only to use a few of the scraps up. Page edge decorations. That's very thin paper. Try not to cut into me and misshape. Sorry, was I even on camera? didn't crawl. Did I actually ink that divot when I'd cut it? No, I did the inside of the envelope and not the divot, didn't I? Yes, I'm thinking one of those little discs might be nice on here and give it a bit of weight um, to hold it down. Oh, that glitters sit in there. Oh, that butterfly's nice, isn't it? Yeah, not to actually hold it down, but it'll just put a little bit of weight on it. And there's one of my little makes used up. Eclectic but pretty. Oh dear. Must have been a master board, that some such thing, collage. That's it, it's all fixed. <laughs> um yeah, so if it's going to have a tag behind it, I need to create one. So what have we got? What haven't we got? A dig to the bottom. There's another piece of that actually that would make a nice tag. Yes, so I need something to back it. Um, I did get a few bits out but there's nothing nothing grabbing me. What would I like on the back of it? Something with a bit of thickness to it. No. Something that can be journaled on. Well, that's not thick, but it's pretty, isn't it? It's pink, pink and blue coffee dyed. Yeah, I think it'll be enough. It'll be an extra layer, won't it? Blue book. Um, I'm not very straight, are you? Perfect size though. I suppose it should have something inside it as well, shouldn't it? Okay. We'll do the same again, just back a piece of scrap and put it in like a journal card. Yeah, so I might only be doing a, f a few pieces you can fit no oh dear but they they have got quite a lot of scraps on them now <laughs> i'm pleased to say i'll just cut that down somewhere near while it dries a bit while we create the other piece and it won't completely dry but it'll dry a little bit won't it i'll put it under my mat oh as i always find something that's funny that i did to my oh that was from that to, <laughs> um, what was the last kit I just did? In a ring bound journal. Right, I'm going to put that in the bin because it's, it's gloopy. I 
Okay, so I want a piece inside as well. I might need to start corralling some of these again. That's more of the same. Not really big enough though, is it? Although if it was a mat on a, a piece of card, it might be. I had some coffee dye, didn't I? Where was that? Well, that's the nicer side. Yeah, I think I will, because that's all three pieces of that used up in the one, in the one piece, as it were. I was just wondering what I'd done with it then. <laughs> the tag, it's under my table, isn't it? Ooh. Which was a nice bit there. Mm, real motorbikes now. Oh, I always do that. I'll have to get me a brayer out again, won't I? It is only there in front of me. But it's a stretch. Okay, I'll let that dry. If you don't see it now, you'll see it on the photographs at the end. So that will be a piece with two. Uh, tags. Where's the other piece gone? Oh no, that two pieces. Right, let's see if we can get this brown envelope done as well and then it doesn't, it doesn't have to go back in. So, oh, it's got that lovely, it's still got the window in it, which what would be nice behind the window? Not big enough, not big enough. They would, wouldn't they? And do they have to go all the way down? Or do they have to be behind the window? Um, I don't know what it's going to be yet. <laughs> A pocket, do we think? Glue that down there and then cl oh, um, cut it on the... Uh, guillotine to get a nice straight edge. Now we just make it a side opening pocket. Don't put it on there. This, this bit's always fun. Let go. You're not far enough in yet. Oh. I think I can leave it there and just cut it off. Yes, I think we can. <laughs> Whoops. So I don't want to cut into that end bit. I want to keep as much of it as I can. Let's try that. Yeah, I think there's enough there. Lovely. And then I'm thinking some washi down here because I'm never going to be able to collage. What other washi? I did add another one out somewhere. I'm sure I did. Um, no, must have put it away. Good grief. Who would have believed it? <laughs> but it could actually go over the window, couldn't it? Um, yeah, there's no way I'm going to collage anything that small down there. Maybe should have done it last after I'd... Uh, Collage the rest of it. Or maybe you should have a piece up there as well, we'll see. Right, this is where some of the scrappy pieces will get used up. Um, that's a nice piece. There's that there ruler. Yeah, so I'm definitely going over my time, I know I am. I always do when I get my scraps out, don't I? The thing is, Neil will be home from work soon and uh, I need to come and organise some tea for him. And I've been sat here a long time, now I could sit here, turn the camera off and sit here and carry on. Uh, no problem, you know, I'm, I'm in the mood. But um, 
time. Time says no. So we'll see. I might get a chance to come into the craft room tomorrow. I don't know, but I'm I'm pretending I haven't got time, you know, I won't. And then it'll be a bonus. Oh, if I do, you know, Neil might decide he's off to weed his potatoes or some such thing. <laughs> or have a nap, bless him. I don't want that. I do like it, it's too bright. But I don't want to um, hide those flowers that are behind there. Maybe. Look at that lovely one that's left. Right, Denise, those bits need to go in the bin. And that one does. Impressive, huh? Oh, that's pretty. That's delicate. I'm wondering if... Whoops, tear it off there first. And make it a how far do we go gosh it's very hot in here Whew. we'll see see how we go round the corner is what else <laughs> I don't see Yes, I think that's going to be good. It's always nice when you've got one less, one less seam on your corners. Oh, I'm nearly at the end of this book as well. I'm half getting through the glue pages just, just recently. Mind, I'm going through glue sticks as well, so that's makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm obviously gluing a lot. I'm using the glue stick a lot. I do hope I'm in camera, it's so wonky. Mm, don't like that uh, seam there, might have some washy on it. Where is it? Things are starting to run out. My wash is looking a bit depleted as well. That's it, that's better. Right, um, just a, a small little piece now on here. I really am just using tiddly bits, aren't I? Um, nothing grabbing me. What's this? Oh yeah, there's a tiny piece of, of something that probably shouldn't have been saved. Yeah, that's from the kit that I've just used as well. Needs a little bit off it. Not a lot. So that was from Memories of Meadows. That one. That one. Oh, it only just fits now. Um, let's try and do it at an angle and then it'll look more like a natural tear rather than a, a cut off joined piece. Yes, it's really good. Another Scotty piece used. <laughs> yeah, so I, uh, I'm feeling it's time I might need to start the uh, master boards up again. No, it won't be on a Monday um, because these next three Mondays are going to be Christmas. <laughs> Christmas in July. Um, but I might fit them in in the week. Okay, lovely. So I'm thinking it may go down and it may not. So let's put some journaling space on the back. And um, have I got anything out? Yeah, nice plain green look. What colours are we on the front? Yeah, green will go fine. Lovely. Um, yeah, then it can either go in a tuck or a pocket, or if it goes down, it doesn't matter. Stuck on the page. Ooh. Yeah, I might have to make some master boards off camera <laughs> if I don't have time to do it on. Doesn't matter which way I want them, I want them that way. Right, I wonder if I can get it exactly in the corner and save myself some cutting. Wouldn't that be good? We won't know till we cut it and see. <laughs> Doesn't look bad. Scissors. It's 
So this has been in there all quite a while as well, I think, this piece of brown envelope. So it's another good thing out of the make sure we're still open here now. Yep. Oh, I could leave it open like that a little bit. So it's got to have a tag because we're not making envelopes uh, pockets without tags. Um, which means I need a piece of card of some oh well this is quite strong. I, mean, I don't like the colour but it won't stay that colour. You're not going to just fit are you? No. <laughs> that would have been too good. Let's let's get the uh, the rough size and then I can guillotine it. Yes, it just wants a bit off in all directions. So what shall we say, 11? Yeah, we'll start at 11. By 11. Just double check it that way. Yeah, it is. Oops, I'm not sure that that was enough off. Oh. Well, it fits exact. Let's just take a, a smidge so that when it's decorated up, it still fits. <laughs> Perfect, I put a tab on it to pull it in and out, one that sticks out, lovely. So all we need to do now is just cover it and something to go with that. Um, it would be nice to use some scraps up but I don't know, let's have a look. Oh there's one. Let's move these big pieces out because of course we could, we could use those but Scraps would be nicer. Those two colours don't really go, do they? No. So something that'll go with either one will do. May not big enough. Oh. You will go with. The, I think it goes that way. Yes, you will. Um. I think I'll just tear it. Actually, I was looking for my tear ruler, but. Or maybe I'll just nibble it. <laughs> so it's got a nice square edge there. Yeah. <laughs> Can hear children walking past. It's uh yeah, it's well gone seven. In fact I really ought to think about going down uh, to Neil's. What did I do with that? That's it. Get Neil's tea ready, but I really want to finish this first. Um, glue. So it looks like I'm only going to get the three pieces done. I could pop down and put his tea on and then come back and make some page edges, but I guess once I get down there, will I? What did I do there? I've no idea. <laughs> I, uh, glued the wrong piece is what I did. Let's see how it works. <laughs> Strange person that I am. Okay, and then that one. I'm working on a, a gluey page there. Okay, I just left my dobber here for speed. It's bizarre having everything on my left instead of my right. The sun is, yeah, it's going to hit me any minute now. Yep. So I want something on the back and I'll probably just completely map to the back. Might need to trim that down a little bit. A tiny bit showing. Of the actual card there. 
Did you see where I put my chopper? There it is. <laughs> I could one small video create so much mess. I was tidy when I started until I got all that. Uh, that's better. All that scrap out. And I just want something for the back then. So, is there anything that will actually fit? No, no. I mean, I've got scraps I could fall out that will fit, but I would like to use these. What about this? It's not really. I'm not sure we're the right way up. That's the right way up. It's not really in keeping, is it? I mean, I love this. But what could I put on with it? Hmm. Oh, another piece of that. Would you believe it? <laughs> It's like magic, it never ends. I wonder if some of that would go. I mean, that very nearly fits, doesn't it? I've got a strip of something that will go over that then. <laughs> oh, I've got a strip of that green from the back of the envelope. No, I'm not feeling it. The only other thing is, hmm, it's the bunny rabbit. Hmm, let's, let's look in the box, shall we? Let's see what we've got that we might like. A biggish piece. Hmm, that's pretty. That's quite a big card as well. That's too nice, I'm saving that. <laughs> Who believe I'm hoarding my scraps? Oh, that's nice, right. Okay, we've got some big pieces. That one, this one I quite liked. It's quite a thick card. All the pink and the brown. What have I put in the front is going in there, isn't it? I'm thinking that might be nice. A corner of that, wouldn't it? So I want this corner here. <laughs> Don't let me put it anywhere else. Oops. Everything's attached to everything. I have to tell you that that way up, yes. And where did I want it? bottom right. I quite enjoy when I've made a big mess like this. I do quite enjoy tidying it up. <laughs> That's sad, is it? I don't know. I love putting the papers, you know, into <laughs> size order. I know you wouldn't think so to look at my rubbish box, my scrap box. Yeah, I like putting everything back where it lives. Some days I don't and some day, sometimes I don't do it. But yeah, it's Oh, was I stuck to that page then? It looks like I was. Because I see a bit of glue there. How did I manage that? I don't know. I'm going to do the same again and cut it for speed on here because I need to go all the way around. So yeah, I will quite enjoy coming up and when I've organised Neil, squaring it all away. I often do that though and then start again. I get stuck, you know, I'm putting things away and think, oh, I'll just do such and such with that. Okay, you should be square now. Then you can go in the bin, right. Yeah, so that could be journaling on the back or the pretty picture for the front. It's quite wet now with all that glue on both sides and I just want I'm thinking putting it in front so that flower shows through I just want a tab on there and I want one that sticks out so now I've got some hanging uh, have a hmm I think I've put them back all right bear with me I think I can reach them but it's a stretch Oh no, I'll have to get up. There we go. Hanging look. Ouch. Oh, that hurt. Definitely time I went and 
definitely time I went and stretched my legs out. I just found this ring an easy way to keep these ones. I'm just trying to think who sent me them. I can't remember. So many, uh, three or four people now have sent me. Yeah, I'm thinking just a brown. Or do we want the lighter brown? Let's have the lighter brown. Um, so Nikki, Carol, Violet. Um, I'm trying to think if anyone else has. I hate it when I miss people off who, who send me things. I think you're the, the die cut guys. I think. Whoops. Yep, so I'm just going to put it on the end so that it um, has my art glitter gone. I'll put it away. No, nope. <laughs> it's there. It's not even closed. Yeah, so it'll stick out proud of the that envelope. I am sure I've been on way too long now, so we won't be doing any page edge doodars, but I uh, hope you've enjoyed what we've made. I'll show you the minute tick. Whoa, there's a lot coming out. Stop. I think this cloth is ready for the bin too now, don't you? I think it's had... Oops, had its work day. Right. I think that's small when it's dry, but... Yeah, so it's like reversible. It'll go in either way and it will... Uh, you can journal on it either way. Yep. And obviously this can be embellished when we decide where it's going. It can have... Yeah, flowers, butterflies, Tim Holtz people, any number of the uh, embellishments that I've got <laughs> kicking about. That is a tiny piece of that washi tape from the front. I meant to fold it over before I matted it, that's it. Gone now. Okay, so what did we get made? We didn't use it. I mean, look at all this paper, crikey. I'm going to have to do something with it, but we made that and uh, we made this double journal, oh that looked pretty didn't it, double journal card, we didn't actually make the tags in it but it has got pieces of card that fit in as tags so and none of them embellished as such so they can all be um, embellished, oh didn't this have tags yet under the table, <laughs> is that both of them? Yeah, and trim them down, have I? I'll trim them down. Um, so yeah, that's got a little journal card in there and it's got a matching tag that's going to go behind it there. So I'll just paper clip it to it when I've trimmed it down. So three fairly substantial pieces, didn't we? We got made. So give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, chat to me in the comments. I will be chatting back. It's Sunday and I'm free. Um, you may see me again later on. I don't know yet. Um, depends. Depends what what happens tomorrow. But I do want to come on and share my planner with you. And I'm thinking tomorrow might be, well, Sunday for you. Today, later on today for you. <laughs> I won't be doing it until Sunday. Um, might be a good time to show you. So I'll see. I'll see how time goes. But uh, have a lovely evening. And uh, hope you're not fed up with me. <laughs> see you soon. Bye bye.